The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. Okay, welcome back, people. This is episode two of our Dark Side Reviews. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the Emperor making an appearance in last week's video. He might be back this week. Who knows? You can't trust that, Palpatine. But no, this week, we both watched a bit of a controversial episode, The Brawl for All. Yeah, what an awful tournament this was. The brainchild of Vince Russo. Ugh, that says a lot when Russo's behind it. So, what do you think of this one? Wow. Well, I suppose we should start with this opening statement. It certainly hasn't improved my opinion of Russo at all. Well, mine was already pretty low. I mean, if you probably listened to this before, you know, I actually, I'm a regular listener of Jim Cornette's podcast. Uh, he doesn't have too favourable opinion of him either. Well, on his podcast, to put it politely, he calls him shit stain. <laughs> because he's a shit stain on the underwear of wrestling. Oh. <laughs> so no, I mean, just watching it and say, him openly saying that his... This tournament was designed because he didn't like Bradshaw. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't it because they were like talking backstage and Bradshaw like the time I said, "Oh, I could beat all of you guys in a real fight." Yeah. So Russo was like, "Right, that's it then. I'm going to create a real fighting tournament." So he comes up with this stupid, stupid idea of like this almost. Boxing slash kickboxing tournament. Yeah. Which Vince stupidly signed off. Well, yeah, I mean, it was like, what, 98, I think? 98 going into yeah. 99. Yeah, 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 it was 98. And, like you were saying, oh, yeah, the fans know that it's fake now. Which sort of pissed, it, like, then you had Cornette come on the screen and go, it pissed him off where people call it fake. Yeah. So obviously he sort of like explains, yeah, it's choreographed and like predetermined, but what the guys are actually doing in the ring, you know, that's that's not fake. And, you know, they they do legitimately get injured and everything else. <laughs> so they want these people fighting for real, like actually punching each other. <laughs> Great. And yeah, Vince agreed to it because this was Attitude Era, so he, he was wanted to do anything for ratings. Hey, pal, that sounds like a good idea. I mean, I did like the thing showing like the inner Vince's inner circle, him, Pritchard, oh, Cornet, Jr. Was that idiot Kevin Dunn there? They didn't mention him, but I'm sure he probably was. In fact, no, I think I saw him in one of the clips. Okay. One of the clips backstage because he's been there for about thirty years now. Yeah. So now, like, they ran down all the people in this tournament. Of course, you had like a you had some proper MMA people in there. You had Dan Seven, former UFC guy. Yeah, and obviously Bradshaw was in there, and Sparky Plug was in there. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Godfather was in there as well. Although this was just before he became the Godfather. Yeah, I think he was still um, Savio at that point. No, oh. Karma, Karma yeah. Mustafa. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and um, of course, a uh, subject that we'll be getting on shortly, uh, you had Dr. Death. Yes. Steve Williams. And I, I like the story that this tournament, they wanted him to, well, they all thought he was going to be the one to win it. Yeah. I I'm trying to remember a couple of the other guys that were in there. Uh, obviously, Droz was yeah. in there. And I think, sort of, Bart Gunn was like the last entrant. Yeah, you confirmed. Had Bart Gunn, Mark Marrow, Steve Blackman was in it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and it did make me laugh how they sold it to Bart Gunn. I can't remember if it was JR or someone else, but he just basically went, oh yeah, yeah, whoever wins this thing, they're getting a program with Austin on TV. And it was like, right, okay. Yeah. 
And I think had like it gone to plan and Doctor Death won it, then he probably would have had a program with Steve Austin. Yeah, because was was it from Japan they signed him? I think. Yeah. Yeah. And because he was a huge star in Japan, having like gone over there and just beaten up everyone. Yeah. Yeah, he was like considered a legitimate tough guy. So I think the whole plan was for Doctor Death to win it, and they probably thought he was. Yeah. And obviously, Russo's prime thing was embarrassing Bradshaw. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I liked all the focusing on the different matches and whatnot. They said that Dan Seven pulled out after, I think, the first match because he didn't want his reputation. Yeah, and and I think, obviously, th- there was a lot of them, but I think, did, did he get injured in the fight as well? Possibly. So I know there was a lot of injuries that came from this tournament. Blade ACL was getting torn and general <coughs> injuries that would uh, hamper him for a few months. Uh, the one match I sort of zoomed in on was the one between Bradshaw and Droz. Yeah. Where Droz was adamant that he had won it. Yeah, because I, th- I think he sort of said about like it was a close call and... Um, it was quite a close decision because it was down on points, and um, I think right towards the end of the fight, Draw said about he he got a takedown. Yeah, and they didn't call it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I think so. Like it, it was something like you know, if he'd got that takedown, he would have had the points to have just edged Bradshaw, and I, I think Jr. might have even pointed it out on commentary. Well, that takedown wasn't counted for well, some unknown reason. It's like you, you had, well, when they were all watching it and you had Cornette going, and they got judges who have never judged a professional boxing fight. You got mm. referees who have never refed a professional boxing mm. fight. No one knew what they were doing. No. It's like the rules were changing on a daily basis. Mm. Yeah, so I believe, was it in the second round? Um, Bart Gunn faced off against uh, Dr. Death. Yeah, because he had beaten Bob Holly first. Yes, yeah, and that got awkward because, of course, they were tag partners yeah. at the time. They were, oh, was it the new Midnight Express, I think it was? Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Bodacious Bob and <laughs> something like Badass Bart or something like that. Yeah, 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 it was something like that, wasn't it? So, yeah, and they were saying they were traveling the roads, they had to share houses with each other. Yeah. And then they had to go fight each other for real. Yeah, and of course, Bart ended up winning that fight. And, you know, he openly said, yeah, it was diff- It was quite awkward and difficult the first day and that, because he said they had to travel to the next town with one another, and then they had to share a hotel room, because they were in a tag match the following night. Mm. Awkward. Yeah, just a but tad. I did like the story with like Doctor Death, and they were saying like no one expected Bart Gunn to win it. No, he was an afterthought. They they had no faith in him whatsoever, yeah. and that just pissed him off. Yeah, and it motivated him even more. <laughs> so long story short, Bart Gunn ended up knocking out. Steve Williams. Yeah, I did like they showed the bit where he took him down and Dr. Death tore his ACL. Yeah, yeah, obviously that didn't help either. Because it was like, oh God, you could tell he he wasn't moving properly. Yeah, so long story short, the match ended, Bargon won, and then then we got a very colourful explanation from uh, Sam's mate, Jim. He just turned around to Vince Russo and went, you're a fucking idiot. And he was like, what? What do you mean, bro? What are you talking about? He was like, you just cost the company $5 million. Oh, no, I haven't, bro. And he was like, you've just ruined Steve Williams. He was going to be, you know, the next big guy coming through the company, you know. He was going to go up against Austin. You've killed him. You've you've ruined him already. All the momentum's gone. It was done. Yeah, and lo and behold, not even a year later... He got released. Well, yeah, they let him do his rehab, and then by that point, they had nothing for him, so he was gone. And this is why the creative team shouldn't do personal shit like this, just trying to out someone, because they're all they're all centre focused, and it's all oh, I want this to happen, and I don't care about the repercussions. Then it just highlights again 
How much of an idiot Vince Russo is. Mm. Yeah, he didn't come across this episode great at all. No. I mean, when I was watching this, I was just like, you absolute dick. Yeah. How many yeah. injuries have you caused yeah. just to get even with Bradshaw? Yeah. I mean, he did show a bit of remorse at the end of the episode. Oh, yeah. Where he was just like, well, yeah, yeah, maybe it wasn't that great an idea. And, you know, I, I didn't want the guys and that to get injured and that and whatnot. And it was just like, yeah, but you're about... You're about 18 years too late. Mm. <laughs> well, no, no, no. 24 years late. 22? 22, 24 mm. years late. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm sure Bradshaw's... He's laughing at Bradshaw getting knocked out. I'm sure Bradshaw's looking at his TV and going, well, Grand Slam champion, multi-millionaire, yeah. soon to be Hall of Famer. Don't think he's done too badly for himself, Russo. Really mm. don't. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you really got one over on him, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, of course, as well, in this episode, we had a, we had a girl JR in this episode <laughs> oh as well. Oh, God, he looked miserable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm not quite sure. I presume, was it maybe last year these episodes got recorded? Mm. So, so, yeah, because obviously this is the second season of so yeah and then we got the story of the final well no we had had the one with the godfather first (laughs) yeah yeah so uh, apparently the godfather smoked a lot of weed back then (laughs) yeah I did like the story of him like running his bar and beating up all the pimps (laughs) yeah apparently like there was the odd occasion he'd like literally like Bitch slap them and he'd knock them out. Because <laughs> he didn't like pimps. No. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> yeah. The guy who ended up playing a pimp didn't like pimps. <laughs> I mean, he said to himself he was too overconfident. He, he had. He thought he was going to win. Yeah. I'm saying, did Bart Gun knock him out? Or, no, I didn't think he did. That one sort no. of ended on points. Or did he knock him out? No, you know what? I think he did actually knock him out and he was yeah. sort of like... Yeah, he did. Yeah, and then he was like, yeah, maybe I should have smoked all that weed <laughs> in the morning. And his wife got pissed off with him. Yeah, because him himself, he did admit, yeah, I was I was ridiculously confident going into the fight because he was one of the genuine tough guys mm. in the locker room. So, uh, yeah, it didn't, didn't quite work out well for him there. So then we get the final match. Bradshaw, bar gun. Mm. And, ugh, ouch. Yeah, I mean, he knocked him down twice in the mm-hmm. first round. I mean, the first time he got up. And at that point, they were saying, ref, you can't let him continue. And he let him continue. Yeah. And he got knocked down the second time. Mm-hmm. And they were all saying like, how worried they were for Bradshaw because he was twitching and... yeah. Yeah. But then immediately afterwards, he had heat. Bart Gunn had heat. Because he had pretty much screwed up their entire plan. Yeah. And the way he was reading it, it was more like he got the match at WrestleMania as a punishment for winning. Yeah, basically. Because Vince was pissed off that Bart won it. And there's like, I, I like the Butterbean story of like Vince smiling at him, mm. saying it was almost like he wanted Bart Gunn to get knocked out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was a bit of a weird one, and it was sort of like the whole, like, you know, Bart actually did quite a bit of training that for it and that, but it was one of them things, like, Butterbean just had a really really powerful punch he mm. didn't he didn't offer an awful lot more it was just the power behind his punches well he was a trained professional boxer he even said it himself that you had Bart Gun come out and started swinging mm. he wouldn't have lasted yeah which is exactly what he did At the start mm. of the fight he was trying to you know not box as much mm. and as soon as he came out and started throwing punches that was it yeah game over yeah yeah because obviously he was a uh... It was a huge attraction in Japan. Mm. <laughs> so Bart Bean just killed it. I remember watching that WrestleMania. Yeah. That was the 
first WrestleMania I stayed up to watch live. <laughs> mm, might have been my second or third, I can't remember. Yeah. So yeah, that was the end of Bart Gunn. Like as soon as his head hit the canvas. Yeah, and I don't think he lasted a, a year after that. No, well, I don't remember him ever, ever appearing in two thousand. No, 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 because obviously that was quite heavily into the uh, start of the invasion angle and that. Invasion was two thousand one. Yeah. yeah, that's true. But no, I mean, he got released. Like they, they touched on his career afterwards, where he went to Japan, did a bit there. Hmm. Yeah. Like he fought Butterbean again. <laughs> which went the exact same way. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, no, um, overall, uh, despite the negatives to it, it was quite an eye-opening episode. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed this one. Mm. And I got that I did like the the sort of aspect they touched on the Cornet and Russo feud, where apparently Jim had threatened to send people to Russo's house. <laughs> yes, the ongoing rivalry of Russo versus Cornet. And he said he was never going to do that. He was just getting in his head. <laughs> yeah. 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 Then it was sort of like. I don't know how invested Russo ever was in like the wrestling industry. No, he wasn't. Because 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 Ru- Russo was just like, oh bro, it's only wrestling. Why are you getting so wound up? And you know, I'll give him his dues. Jim Cornette saw like wrestling's my whole life. Yeah. You know, it's given me my lifestyle and everything and that. Like you know, it's all I've ever really known. So you know, of course, I'm going to take it personally. Well, he you fucking idiot. <laughs> he commented on it at the beginning. He said Vince Russo was never a wrestling fan. No. Like, when he came in, he tried to turn it into the Jerry Springer show. Mm. In fact, I like the fact that they mentioned that they had the Jerry Springer show on as they were writing the show. God. Mm. And then he sort of had the occasional sort of, you know, oh, this is what went on in the Jerry Springer show, and then this is what they done, don't they? And you're just like, oh my God. I mean, the fact is, Vince Russo only came up with a lot of his good ideas because McMahon was able to say, no, we ain't doing that. He took the good parts. Yeah. And probably dismissed a lot of the rubbish. Mm. Yeah. Yes, indeedy. So, no, unfortunately, like, well, they never did it again, did they? No. <laughs> Not that it ever should have happened in the first place. I mean, well, what an idiot. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine anyone who watches this show would have any sort of respect for Vince Russo after this. Hmm. If they didn't already. Yeah. <laughs> there is that. Because, I mean, you think, he's not involved in the wrestling business anymore. Hasn't been for quite a few years. Not since TNA fired him all those years ago. Hmm. Yeah. And even that's been highlighted recently by... <laughs> King Booker. Oh no. You don't want to mess with Booker. <laughs> so yeah. So no, definitely a good watch. I'm curious to see which one we do next. Mm, so as always folks, if you got any comments or opinions on this episode, leave them in the comments section below. One of us will get back to you. Probably you. <laughs> eh, maybe. <laughs> because that's all we got for this episode of the Dark Side Reviews. <laughs> As always, from your hosts, the master of the brain damage, Martin, and the one and only Sam H. We'll see you again for the next one. Vince Russo is a fucking idiot.